Blizzards, avalanches, 100 mile per hour winds, and sub-zero temperatures, all in the midst of rugged mountains, massive glaciers, tundras, and forests. These are the elements Alaska State Troopers must endure in their day-to-day -day activities. But what truly sets this highly prestigious law enforcement agency apart from the other state agencies throughout the United States? This is Alaska State Troopers. Alaska is known as the last frontier. Bordering Russia, it is one-fifth the size of the contiguous United States, with 586,412 square miles of diverse territory. Due to its geographic location, not only do Alaska State Troopers play a vital role in national security, they must enforce the laws of the U.S. in the most unforgiving environments. Alaska State Troopers operate very differently than their lower 48 counterparts in various ways. First and foremost, they are not only troopers, but also game and wildlife enforcement officers. We'll get more into that later. Additionally, Alaska does not have counties like other states do. They have boroughs, which have less power than counties do. Alaska doesn't have county police or sheriffs like your typical state does. The only borough that has its own police force is the North Slope Borough, meaning that the Alaska State Troopers, which only have around 300 sworn officers, are responsible for patrolling the rest of the state. Think about it. We told you Alaska is over 568,000 square miles, but there's only 300 state troopers. They are the most geographically extended peace officers if you aren't counting the feds. With little to no local backup, a lot is asked out of these badasses. Alaska State Troopers have to do a lot to keep the citizens of Alaska safe. But who's going to keep you safe when you're surfing on the internet? That's where NordVPN comes in. NordVPN keeps your data hidden behind a wall of next-gen encryption, while also allowing you to change your IP address to anywhere in the world. And yes, that includes Alaska. Nord's double data encryption offers increased anonymity, making sure those pesky intruders won't be getting anywhere near you or your personal data. With super fast servers in 60 countries, NordVPN has you covered wherever you go. We've teamed up with NordVPN, today's sponsor, to provide you all with a massive discount. Visit nordvpn.com slash general discharge to get 61% off a two-year plan, plus one month completely free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash general discharge. Links in the description below. Now back to the video. With a force of 300 officers patrolling a state twice as large as Texas, you're probably starting to think that Alaska might be the Wild West with no officers around. Well, numbers can be deceiving. While it's the largest state, Alaska only has a population of around 730,000, and its highway system is nearly the smallest in the US. In fact, 75% of Alaska is inaccessible by car. But we're sure you didn't click on this video for an Alaska geography lesson. So what does this mean for the Alaska State Troopers? Because Alaska is Alaska, they are primarily a rural police department. While there are urban posts, a majority of their officers work in semi-rural or rural environments, where the main methods of transportation are by snowmobiles, ferries, four-wheelers, etc. Senior officers can even find themselves working two weeks on and two weeks off in the most rural areas not a bad gig. You'll also come to learn that the Alaska State Troopers possess many of the same capabilities that your typical state agency has, such as a Highway Patrol, Investigations Bureau, Drug Enforcement Unit, and a SWAT team, which is called the Special Emergency Response Team. Troopers can have special duties ranging from fixed or rotary wing pilots, canine handlers, sea vessel operators, snow machine operators, and tactical dive units. But given the remoteness of Alaska, and an environment that can lead to someone easily getting lost. Alaska State Troopers as a whole are in charge of providing and coordinating search and rescue efforts across the state. Every trooper receives training in search and rescue, and participates in search and rescue events in each geographical area. Remember how we said that Alaska State Troopers are both state troopers and wildlife officers? Let us explain that a little bit further. While every trooper is a trooper, some may elect to cross over into the wildlife sector, 
Wildlife officers receive extra training after the academy and are tasked with the primary mission of protecting Alaska's natural resources through wildlife enforcement. They still enforce criminal laws and play a big role in the search and rescue operations we touched on moments ago. Alaska State Troopers are also encouraged to move around throughout their career, meaning they get plenty of opportunities to work in various posts throughout the state. After the academy, which we will touch on in a second, they are assigned to three urban posts, Fairbanks, Palmer, or Soldatna, where they will spend their first few years working and living there. Within a trooper's first five years, they are expected to move somewhere else, usually to a more rural area. No sweat though, because Alaska pays for every trooper and their family's moving costs throughout their career. So what about that academy? Great lengths are taken to select the right team members for the Alaska State Troopers. To become an Alaska State Trooper, candidates go through a paid 18-week program where they are provided with training, equipment, and experience to help them become a professional law enforcement officer. They receive hands-on instruction in the classroom, in the field, and in scenario-based training. Some of the topics covered in the Academy are the Alaska Criminal Code, Search and Seizure, Crime Scene Investigation, Use of Force, Cold Water Survival, and Search and Rescue. With everything all said and done, it's clear that the Alaska State Troopers aren't your typical police department. It's unlike any other law enforcement job in the world. With the challenges, lifestyle, and responsibilities, not everyone can be up to the task of an Alaska State Trooper. They're actually experiencing a manpower shortage at the time this video has come out. If you're interested in embarking on the journey to join this unique police department, we'll link their official website in the description below, where you'll find all of the information you'll need to know in order to apply, such as their requirements, hiring process, and much more. But wait, what if you're just here for the information and enjoy learning about different police units? Have you ever wondered why there are so many different SWAT teams? Well, look no further, we have a video explaining just that. The link to it will be in the description below. Well, that is the down and dirty of Alaska State Troopers. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.